Have you ever wondered how a scam really works? Well, sometimes the con artists turn their victims into accomplices. That's what we discovered as we unraveled an employment scam that targeted a summit woman. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas takes us inside this growing scam. I feel sick to my stomach. On the other end of this call is a Michigan woman in search of love. I was just looking for a relationship. I don't know how I got into this mess. I would like to say I'm prosecuted. And this is a summit woman out thousands of dollars. Nothing but a fake check to show for it. Phone bill was due, my mortgage was due, and now because of all this, everything is behind. You might wonder what this has to do with that call. I just don't know what to do. Let's start with Carla Wilbon at Summit. My name is Carla, how my sister. She works from home, scheduling doctor's appointments for people in need. What's the first thing? But when someone in her own family got sick, that job wasn't enough to pay the bills. I wanted to try to supplement my income. She picked up a second gig as assistant to the CEO of something called Hawkins Interior Design. They even had a legit looking website with supposed testimonials. This is a remote position. A so-called CEO sent her a check right out of the gates for $2,800. He asked her to deposit it into her own account, then take out $2,600 in money orders to pay some bills for him. Now, the check that was in our account, it came back as being fictitious, as altered, and that caused our account to be in negative. But by the time she realized that, she'd already FedEx those money orders, as instructed with funds from her own account to an address in Michigan. We tracked down the person staying at that address. And we were going to see if we could make a life. She said her online boyfriend of five years, a man she'd never met but texted weekly, recently told her a few FedEx shipments were coming, payments for paintings he'd just sold. At his request, she forwarded them to another address so he'd finally have the funds to return from Europe and the two lovebirds could live together. We told her scammers often send their loot to multiple addresses, so it's harder to trace back to them. I don't know if I hurt anybody. I didn't, I didn't mean to. I would never do anything dishonest in my life if my life depended on it, if I knew I was doing it. Now that woman says she too was a victim. A couple of years ago, her supposed lover convinced her to pay for his open heart surgery. I think it was a scam. But she's the only one with a broken heart. I can't believe my sister did. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. We tried reaching that CEO slash online boyfriend several times and no luck. The Better Business Bureau says with such a turbulent job market right now, employment scams really on the rise. They're targeting people in their desperation. You can go to CBSChicago.com for important information so you can avoid being ripped off. For more stories like this one, download our new app. Look for the section called Morning Insiders.